So my name is Peter Baxter. I'm the SVP of Global Sales for Yellowfin. I've been with the organization now for just over four years. We're a top five global analytics vendor. We've been around now for 15 years. We're a 100% private organization and we're headquartered out of sunny Melbourne in Australia. Our mission is very simple. It's to help our customers understand their businesses better and to really help customers embrace data and use those insights for action and change. We have some great brands all around the world, but we have around about 27,000 customers and that equates to around about 3 million users. And look, guys, I know you hear a lot from vendors saying, you know, it's time for a revolution, you know, blah, blah, blah. We're going to change the world. Really, we have something with Yellowfin 8 and the two products that we're going to talk about with Yellowfin 8. This is where part one of part two comes in, and that is introducing Yellowfin signals. And it is at the moment the only way to automatically discover and surface the most important changes in your data as they happen. What will businesses be able to do with Yellowfin signals? So we're trying to take away that fatigue that we're seeing with data. Again, another favorite of mine, my good old gut feel. So we're looking at really removing that human bias with signals and accelerating time to value. And really that ability to discover those outliers and those statistical changes really quickly. In other words, immediately. So what are Yellowfin signals? So fundamentally, it's about a time series analysis. And that's taking slices and slices of time series data and that's based on the available dimensionality of it. And it's really looking for those significant statistical deviations. And I really want to be clear on this point. It is not threshold-based alerts. And what we do is we look for six patterns of analysis today, and we're looking to significantly invest in this space. And that's how this augmented analytics is really going to thrive and grow for Yellowfin in the future. So how do we do it? It's very simple. We're using some tried and tested algorithms as well as uh, the very latest algorithms to deliver those signals. A really key thing here is it's automatically going to learn from that user interaction and that user inference to really personalize the signal delivery. And that's about getting relevant data to you. And of course, what makes this so special is something that Yellowfin's always been known about and that's our metadata layer. And that is the foundation of the automation. And that's what makes us so special. There's a real risk of you not being able to find your data, get it through to the relevant people and act on it. Versus now with Yellowfin Signals, you reduce that seven step process down to two. This is how we're able to deliver, you know, instant insights to that business user. What happens is continuously running in the background. And it just keeps on analyzing all of your data and all of your data sets as well. It sees a signal. It sends that information immediately to the user slash users that it's relevant to. It carries on monitoring all your data. And then ultimately it finds signals and goes back to monitoring. But signals really does deliver the information as and when things change, not after the occasion and it's not accidental. I'm not going to apologize for continually talking about the automation because that ultimately is very much part of our secret source. But that kind of leads me nicely on to really part two of the major launch that we had. And it's all around storytelling, which shouldn't really be a great surprise because, you know, we really do understand now that, you know, without the context to data, we really don't know what's happening. And that's where we're introducing something called Yellowfin Stories. And it really is the best way to tell compelling stories with your data. And that's ultimately about providing the narrative that people like me really need to fully understand what the data means that I'm looking at. And how does Yellowfin Stories really differ? As Yellowfin's always been known for its collaboration skills, this is the point here. It's designed for sharing. And we're still a firm believer of one of the taglines we had a few years ago now and data is pretty useless unless you share it but with the introduction of stories people actually saw an exciting way to see data and actually were engaged in the data as well 
And what this points out is not only are you going to realize the investment in your BI platform, but more importantly, you're going to understand an awful lot more about your business in a time which is acceptable to make those changes. One of the most exciting things for me here is it's completely open, which means you can put both stories and signals on top of existing installations of our competitors, the likes of Tableau, Power BI, and Click. And of course, with both stories and signals, you get what Yellowfin's always been known for, and that's a highly governed, highly secure product. But the point in the market today, there is no one out there that's combining all of it together like Yellowfin.